British people are gonna be watching this and be like, oh, American. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Nicole and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be trying some British vegan food that's very traditional but it just happens to be vegan. I am not English, I've never been to England but I have always wanted to go. I've always wanted to have the accent, that's for sure. Ever since like the Spice Girl days I have dreamed of having a British accent. I've even mimicked it. I, I do it quite a bit. My friends and family find it very annoying. I find it hilarious. I just pretend to be Russell Brand like all the time. I think I'm good at it, but I've had British people tell me that I'm not good at it, so I should probably stop doing that in public. But anyway, a lot of my favorite uh, YouTubers just happen to be British, and especially this time of year, there's so many great Vlogmases, and they just eat such interesting food. So I thought I would try some of them and let you know how, what I think. In this video, I'm going to be trying three things. The first is these baked beans, which is something they have for breakfast quite often. They serve it on toast just like this. And then I'm also going to be making vegan minced pies, which are little handheld fruit pies that they make at Christmas time. And I'm gonna show you the recipe that I used and how I made it. And I also found these dark chocolate truffles that were imported from England. I got all three of these things from World Market, but I have links to them in the description box below if you want to check it out and do your own taste test at home. And I also have the recipe for these little hand pies in the description box, so check that out and let's get started. I found these chocolates and I didn't even, like I walked by them a couple of times because I didn't even think that chocolate truffles were going to be vegan. But then I flipped them over. I just thought, well, maybe dark chocolate, like sometimes it's vegan. I flip it over and it says vegan right on the package. It says luxury stem ginger dark chocolates. I don't know what stem ginger is. Stem ginger refers to chunks of ginger candied and stored in simple syrup. The syrup is a standard, blah, 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 blah. okay, so it's candy ginger. Good to know, thanks Google. So these are going to be dark chocolate covered candied ginger truffles. And Christmassy too, right? It's like candied, jellied ginger with a really good dark chocolate. Like dark chocolate can be really dry sometimes. And I don't know, kind of um, like a little too bitter and not very sweet, but this has a nice amount of sweetness. It tastes like a real chocolate truffle, not like a vegan healthy version. Like this is a delicious truffle and the dark chocolate with the ginger is a great combination. If you don't like ginger, you're not gonna like it. This is like real ginger too. Like it has like the little ginger fibers inside. I don't know if you can see. And they were like $3 or something. Normally foods that are imported are really expensive. I think they were doing like a Christmassy sale or something, but I will definitely link them in the description box because if you're a dark chocolate lover and a ginger lover, you should definitely try these because these are we have baked beans here in America, but just judging by the color, I'm assuming it's going to taste very, very different. And I put it on a piece of rye toast, which I've seen them do like on Instagram and stuff. Kind of smells like baked beans, but like maybe not as sweet. So here we go. Good. I really want to put hot sauce on this and avocado. British people are going to be watching this and be like, oh, Americans and their avocado. I would say that these are similar to American baked beans, but American baked beans are much, much sweeter. They're pretty basic. Like they're not um, like, oh my gosh, the best thing I've ever had. But I can imagine it'd be really fun to put together like a whole vegan version of an English breakfast with like vegan sausage and sauteed mushrooms and all that stuff. So maybe I will try that for a video. Let me know in the comments if that's something you wanna see. But this is pretty good. California girl in me wants to put avocado and sriracha all over this, but I won't. Oh my gosh, I almost fell off the couch. The next thing that I'm gonna try are mince pies, and these are so traditional and classic. I always see them in Vlogmas every year, and I've always wanted to make them, but I didn't know that they were vegan. Like, if anything, I thought mince pie, like you hear mince meat, you think it's going to be meat but it's not. And actually this YouTuber that I follow named Anna, I've been following her for a year. She's amazing. I'll link her channel down below too, cause I love her. She made these in the first day of Vlogmas and her mom gave her the recipe and she decided to share it. And she goes, Oh, by the way, it happens to be vegan and my ears totally perked up. So I went to world market and they sell, um, the mince pie mix, which is basically just like dried fruit with like candied orange peel and apple. And it's, it's really good. It has some ginger in there, kind of like a jelly with nuts and dried fruit in it. And you just use that and then you make the little pie. So I'm going to show you how to make them and then we'll try it. 
So Anna's mom's recipe uses self-rising flour, which is something you can definitely get here in the States. I just didn't happen to have any, I just had regular flour. So I used regular flour and then added half of a teaspoon of baking powder and whisked it together so it was nice and evenly combined. And the other thing you need to know about this recipe is that it is measured in grams. And so I have the conversion into cups in the description box below. So check that out if you're gonna be making this at home. Then you're going to add half of a cup of vegan butter, aka margarine, and you want it to be nice and cold because that's what's going to really create a nice flaky pie crust. So you basically just add the butter to the flour and then using a pastry cutter or a fork or even your hands, you just wanna combine the flour into the margarine and it's gonna create kind of like a crumbly texture, almost like breadcrumbs. And once it's all nice and combined, you add a couple of tablespoons of water until it comes together like a dough. Then you're gonna roll it out on a clean surface and I sprinkle a little bit of flour so it doesn't stick. And then you can use a rolling pin, obviously, if you have one. But if you're like me and you don't have one, a little trick that I've learned is that you can use a saran wrap roller. And basically you just put a little flour on it and roll it out until everything is nice and even. And then you just take off that first layer of saran wrap and then you can reuse the rest of your roll like nothing ever happened. So that's what I did. And then I used a cookie cutter to cut out six round shapes. And this is going to be the bottom part of the pie. Then you're gonna take each disc and place it into the bottom of a muffin tin. And I just use my finger to lightly tap down the center and it creates kind of like a little cup and that is where we're gonna put the mince pie filling. And Anna's mom uses a store-bought kind and so I found this store-bought version at World Market. I have links in the description box below if you wanna find some online. But when you open this jar, it literally smells like Christmas in a jar. Like it is such an incredible, like wonderful scent. I don't even know, it's like cinnamon and ginger and orange and it's just so Christmassy. You're gonna Gonna scoop one tablespoon of Christmas in a jar into your little pie cups and then roll out the rest of your dough and either do another round shape or I decided to do a star and then place that on top and you want to make sure you pierce them with a fork so that the crust gets nice and you know crispy and flaky and this is the finished product mm, mm, mm -hmm. okay I'm moving to England these are amazing this is better than I thought it was gonna be it just tastes like so Christmassy, like cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, orange, apple, raisin. I'm gonna eat this whole thing for sure. The crust got nice and flaky. I've actually haven't, I don't think I've made pie crust before, um, but it's super simple. It only has margarine and flour in it, as you saw, but the filling is so good. And I feel like they look so cute and fancy, but they're really, really easy to make. And this with like a cup of tea or like hot chocolate or something would be so good. Oh, hi. Anna, if you're watching this, thank you for sharing that recipe because I've never made mince pies before and when I heard you say they were vegan, I got really excited and inspired. So thank you so much. It's really, really good. Tell your mom big thumbs up from this American girl. So that is everything that I got to try. I have to say the mince pies were definitely my favorite. They were just very Christmassy and perfect for this time of year. And they're also kind of fun to make like cutting out the shapes and stuff. I don't know, I love doing stuff like that. And but it was really easy to do. And definitely something like if you have kids or something or family in town for the holidays, like this would be a really good thing for everyone to do together. So love that, love that recipe. And then also the chocolates were a close second because those are really good. And I think I'm probably gonna end up getting a couple more boxes of the box, why can't I speak? More boxes of those and putting them in like stockings or like as part of Christmas presents because they're really good and they're not too expensive, so love that. The baked beans are good too, but they're kind of just like ordinary. Mince pies were the winner, and they're just so cute. I wish I could just like give you guys one right now to try, but the recipe is down below, so you have to go make them and let me know what you guys think. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in a video very soon. Bye. <laughs>